Dear Minister Karliczek, Professor Barner, Mr. Kesser, ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted to address you tonight to congratulate you on the 100th anniversary of the Schister Verband. Unfortunately, I cannot be with you in Berlin tonight, which I regret even more, as your program promises to combine insightful discussions with a decent celebration of a centenarian that seems to be a forceful and topical as ever. Bringing in the wealth of his 3,000 members, the Stifter Verband is committed to support projects with a vision of looking at education, science and innovation collectively. I could not support this inclusive, holistic approach more strongly. Indeed, as European Commissioner, I have, for the first time, the privilege to be in charge of all these policies, education, research, innovation, together. When referring to these policies, we often speak of the knowledge triangle. My vision for this mandate is to lay the foundations for a true European knowledge area, where education, science and innovation are closely interlinked, where schools prepare pupils with the digital skills that will need to thrive in tomorrow's labour market, where knowledge and research flows without borders, where universities, research organisations, foundations and associations like yours help pull together all national and European efforts. As you know, we only stand at the very beginning of a new five-year term. It is the clear ambition of the Commission and Ursula von der Leyen to work for a Europe that strives for more. More in fighting climate change, more in making Europe fit for the digital age, more in putting our economy on a more sustainable path to preserve our prosperity. But becoming the first climate neutral continent or defining the Europe approach to artificial intelligence are not ends in itself. They aim to provide a vision, a direction and a framework for European companies and investors to move first and to move fast. Education, research and innovation have an essential role to play for achieving the transition of our economy and society in enabling leadership and preserving our competitiveness in an increasingly challenging global environment. As you know, our seven-year European budget comes to an end in December and negotiations on the future financial framework are in full swing. With the New Horizon Europe programme, we have put forward a powerful tool to test new approaches, nourish disruptive concepts and support scaling them up. This is why it is so important that we strike an ambitious agreement on the future multi-annual European budget. Here, I count very much on the German presidency in the second half of this year to bring the discussions to a beneficial end. This is important for our researchers, professors, students and laboratories that they will get clarity and can plan ahead. When it comes to science and research, we must not get lost in discussions on numbers behind the comma, but strive together for great ambitions and achievements, equipping flagship programs of European Union added value, like Horizon and Erasmus, with more funding is the best investment in our future. This is as much in the interest of Germany as of the entire European Union. At the beginning of my message, I mentioned the knowledge triangle with its three dimension of education, science and innovation. And I often like to add fourth dimension, the service of these policies to society. I'm glad to see all these dimensions are so well reflected in the work to which the Stifter Verband is committed since 100 years. Congratulations and I wish you an inspiring evening.